Hello, this is Dr. Aureen Wagner. Welcome to my Anxiety and OCD Quick Guide. When does anxiety become a problem? We all have anxiety. It's that uneasy feeling when we know that something's not right, when there's danger around the corner. And none of us likes anxiety, but actually it's a good thing for us. It's normal, it's natural, and it's necessary for us to keep ourselves safe from danger and also to make us more motivated and productive to get things done. So when anxiety is in that range, it's helpful for us. But when we have too much anxiety, then of course it's harmful and it gets in our way. So how do we know when anxiety becomes a problem? That's a question that many parents have and school professionals and even adults might wonder about their own anxiety. So although there isn't any kind of absolute answer to that question, here are some guidelines. Normal anxiety is reasonable. So let's take an example, test anxiety. Lots of kids, teens, and adults can relate to having to take a test or do something important. And in that situation, does the anxiety seem typical, reasonable, understandable? And is it getting the person or the child energized to work harder to do well? Well, then that's normal anxiety. But if someone is so upset about it that they can't sleep, they can't eat, they refuse to go to school, they can't go to work, they're crying, they're, they're doing the work over and over again, they're afraid they'll forget, then you can see that that anxiety might be too much for that situation. Normal anxiety also goes away after the situation is over. But problem anxiety can continue for a lot longer. And also, a normal anxiety can be age-matched, which means that if a five-year-old was afraid of being away from a parent, that would be pretty typical. But if a 14-year-old was afraid of being away from a parent, that would be unusual for their age, and so age mismatched. So this is a guideline for what's normal and what's a problem. If you are concerned, you should talk to a qualified professional. Thank you for listening to this Anxiety and OCD Quick Guide. For more quick guides and information, please visit my website, anxietywellness.com.